The SPF FTX saga explained through the greatest games in history. Let's go. SPF was basically playing himself in chess. On one end of the board was FTX, and on the other end was Alameda. Customer funds and everything else on the balance sheet were pawns, and he was moving all the pieces. Billions in customer funds moving around where the balance sheet was wacky creations straight out of the Super Mario universe. Spitting turtle shells and slipped banana peels created a landmine out of cells. Imagine Rainbow Road. That's the balance sheet that we're dealing with. One wrong turn is real, and your firm is declaring bankruptcy. Those star coins are similar to FTT and Serum, too. They have the value that you say they have until they don't. Mark to market liquid, everything is worth $10 billion until it's time to sell. Did Mario ever accidentally send Luigi $8 billion? And that's where Monopoly comes in, because Sam Bankman-Fried was the bankman. Every time anyone passed go, he and Alameda would collect. The role of the dice was a role on the longevity of the companies. But turns out Alameda was not that great at trading, and the bank loaned all the money out to them. Another bank, Binance, is now stepping in, a new sheriff is in town. This, of course, created a Pac-Man effect. There are only so many dots in the maze, and they're ghosts another time. The dots ran out, creating liquidity issues at smaller firms, impacting Genesis, the first OTC Bitcoin desk, and the largest crypto lending desk. VC firms were quick to gobble up SPF and FTX in the story, but they didn't really check to see what was behind them. And now the ghosts have caught up to everyone. You can play League of Legends in front of politicians, collecting experience points for taking down enemies and earning gold from all the endeavor. And of course, you can try to restart the game when you lose. You and 134 other companies can declare bankruptcy. Try to raise more money, write cryptic tweet threats. But when game over is flashing on the screen, it is game over.